My name is David Bilger, and I'm in my 16th season as principal trumpet of the Philadelphia Orchestra. In all the years that I've been in the orchestra business, I've spent a lot of time thinking about how the trumpet works for me, how to make it easier, and how to make sure that on a day-to-day -day basis, I can do my job well. And I'd like to share some of these thoughts and ideas with each of you. So now that we're done with our exercises just with the mouthpiece, I've gone and grabbed a trumpet and maybe a cup of coffee and I'm ready to start the next phase of the warm-up. Okay, so that feels to me as if there's a little bit more front on the notes, a little bit more clarity on the single tongue, and I'll go back and try the scales once again. Did you hear a difference? It felt much clearer to me. Higher, faster, louder. It's not just what I played, was it? But that's the title of my discussion of trumpet fundamentals today. The idea being, we always want to push our abilities on the instrument. We want to grow as technicians so that we can speak better as artists. It's as if, as painters, we need to have as many colors on our palette as possible. And the only way that we can do that is by developing our technique. OK, so I got your attention. Power. It's something that we all need when we play the trumpet. The old joke or adage is that you play loud to get a job and soft to keep it. I think you play loud to get a job, and you play loud and soft to keep it. Um, so how do we develop power? OK, so we've got to play high. How do we do it? So sometimes we have to play fast, too. How do we develop agility, the ability to move around the instrument? 